Hey guys, I figured I would shoot this quick video. Um, I get a lot of questions lately about the teeth that I made for my Piranha Plant Ed. I don't even know what to call it still. It's still something that's confusing me. Um, anyways, so <clears throat> this is how handy I am. That's the bottom one. Um, so these are, I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see. There we go. So that's the top set. Come on, focus. Seriously. There we go. So that's the top set. <laughs> that's the bottom. So when they're together, they're not like aligned perfectly because these are my first time making them. So let's see if I can hold them without dropping them again. So they align like that. They're kind of hard to see. But anyways, these are made out of uh, Warbler uh, beets. These are safe to have in your mouth. Um, they don't stick to your teeth, so it's something simple to mold and craft with. It does take a little bit of practice. I mean, for myself, it took a little bit of practice. For other people who are extremely crafty, maybe not. But these do sit really well in your mouth. I do say let them cool. I'm going to show you how to do them, but I'm going to show you how these look. Let's see if I can get them in. So that's how they look. And then the bottom ones. So they don't uh, stick to your teeth. Of course, I'm wearing red lipstick. That just seems like a smart idea. They don't stick to your teeth, um, so that's great. And then I just made these ones for another lipstick on my fingers. Um, another et thing. I haven't released it yet, so not on than that side. So. But they're super simple to make and I'm gonna show you how to do them. Um, these go a long way. So if you are gonna purchase these, I got mine from Just Because. Um, if you are gonna purchase them, I promise you they're gonna go a long way. So all you need to do this is these Deco Art Warbler beads. There is an instruction thing inside, so it'll kind of tell you how to use them. Um, it does say you can use a heat gun or hot water. So, I mean, I boiled a bunch of water, so I have that ready. This will take a couple of tries. I use a pot because I find it keeps the heat a little bit longer, um, and you're going to need a spoon. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour, like, maybe a loony, us Canadians, um, like, a, I'd say about a half a tablespoon of pellets in my hand. I'm going to pour some water. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but we're going to try. So I'm going to put these in here, and they are white, but when they're in the water, they will start, like you can see them, they'll start turning clear. So once they're completely clear, obviously you don't want to stick your hand in, but you want to take your spoon and you want to kind of stir them into a pile. They'll stick to themselves, so you don't have to like really try. Um, so you put them in a pile. And then you can take them out of the water. They're not crazy hot when you take them out of the water, but it turns into this like clear see-through. So you want to mix it together a bit. And you want to take your time, but you don't because it will get cool fast. You can reheat it by putting it back in the water. So I'm just going to do like a, I'm going to put this section back in there. So I snaked it and now I'm just going to like mold a tooth like that. So there's like a triangle shape. I don't know if you guys can see it because it is clear, but there's a triangle shape. And then say I want to put it here. So you want to switch it on your tooth. This is going to be hard to see guys. I'm sorry. I don't know if you can see it at all. So anyway. If I put it on my tooth and I let it cool, you want it to cool completely. Like, do not remove this from your mouth. Leave it in until it's completely white. The reason I'm saying that is because I, when I made my first set, I was like, oh, it's cooled enough. And I pulled it out and I let it cool completely on the counter. And I found getting it into my mouth hurt because it wasn't solidified to my teeth, to the shape that they were. So it like shrunk more and getting it in was hard so even my top set for my piranha plant are still a little tight because I didn't let it sit long enough but anyways as it gets harder this is a terrible thing but as it gets harder it does turn white this is so hard to see, see. 
there. So it does turn white um, and then you'll be able to like slip it back in. You can make anything out of these. Breezy Weezy made her fangs for her back girl out of them. Um, I recommend having a mirror in front of you so you can sculpt them and make them any way you want. And if you mess up, you literally put them back in the water, um, you let it warm up, and you'll be able to redo, reform, reshape. Um, if you've made like my piranha plant ones, how when I made them, I made individual, like I made a, a tooth base, so I just made like a flat piece in my mouth, let it like cure or cool down. And then I made the teeth separate and then I reheated my base and then I stuck the teeth to them, which I would not necessarily recommend unless you're quick um, because you're going to constantly have to put it back in to make sure it fits. But this is a really cheap and easy way, you guys, to actually make custom teeth for yourself, whether you're being an orc, whether you're being a vampire, whether you want a full set of teeth like my piranha plant, you can make them align so when you close your mouth they actually sit properly. I do recommend that if you are going to try this, do not overuse the product. And by that I mean like you guys seen how little I put in, I still have... Like, it turns out to being a good size ball. So, you don't need a lot of product. Like, this would make a whole top piece for my mouth. Just like mouth noises. That was gross. Uh, but yeah, like, this fit all the way into the back of my mouth. All the way to my molars when you do it you do want to like push it up your gum so that it covers your full tooth don't just leave it to the shape of your tooth because uh, you want it to fit like a glove uh, same thing on the inside of your mouth you kind of want to push it up on the side of your teeth as well so you have that room to play with it another good tip is if you over make the piece like um these are so covered in lipstick now, but like these ones here, I don't know if you guys can see, they have a huge base on them and it is more than I needed, but when I made them, they like curve out and up. So when I made the big base, I would have cut this piece off here, but because it was cooled, you can't cut it. So if you want to cut or anything like that, look at my lipstick on my fingers. Um, excuse me. If you want to cut or anything like that, Make sure they're still transparent because they will cut really well. Um, but yeah, you can't cut them once they're they're cooled down. But this is a great a great tool, I think, and I'm super happy that I was able to do them. I have a feeling I'll be doing more. Um, yeah. So if you guys have any more questions regarding this product or how or the shape of or any of that of any of the teeth that I have made so far please let me know i will answer as much as i can i will try and make other teeth if you guys want to see if it's possible um it's a fun little thing and it takes no time i mean yeah this whole video is like over eight minutes but that's because i talk a lot not because it takes that long to make them so remember that if you need a last minute fix for fangs or anything like that please make sure you get the warbler deco art Pearly beads, they are fantastic. Please check out just because you can message them on Facebook or go, uh, yeah, on Facebook or their Instagram. Um, a bag like this is 16 bucks and this is 4.4 ounces, so 125 grams. This will last me a long freaking time. So I'm excited to work with it. I'm excited to try new things and hopefully you guys check it out too. Anyways, hopefully you like this. If so, please like, subscribe, and comment below with anything else you guys want to see and regarding the deco art beads. Yeah, so that's it. That's all. Hopefully you guys make some cool teeth. If so, send me pictures. I would love to see. And I will talk to you guys later.